Hello, Kelly here with Attorney Sync, and I wanted to share a post that I am working on for AttorneySync.com. Um, should be going out today. Today is June fifth, um, and it focuses on cleaning up your content on your website for SEO best practices. And there are a few things that I want to go over in the post. Um, the first being that uh, cleaning up your content can really help boost your search engine results page uh, ranking. So if you do all the things that Google likes and you kind of monitor your posts and make sure that your um, all of your content is just getting better and better and that you're kind of doing little tweaks throughout time to increase it, uh, that should help in the search ranking. So what do you wanna do first? Well, first and foremost, you wanna ask yourself, what pages are people leaving? What things are people not identifying with? So you want to go to Google Analytics and take a look at your bounce rates. Uh, if you have really high bounce rates where people aren't even, um, you get visitors to a page, but it's not even registering that they're staying for more than a second, you really wanna take a look at that page and see what it is that is happening that could maybe be turning some people off. Um, Growth Everywhere has a good post about cleaning up your content and kind of how to go about that in a really systematic way. I listed it out in the post. Um, you, I will put the link in the video notes so you can go to it from there, but I won't go through them in depth here. Uh, second thing you want to ask yourself is, will people want to read it? So if you've got grammatical errors, that's the first uh uh in your posts that are going to make people not want to read what it is that you're writing. You also want to make sure that at the end of it, you have just kind of a gentle and reasonable call to action or a really strong one, depending on what it is. If you're writing a very specific post about, um, as I have later in in my blog post here, if you're writing a very specific post about like you're a birth injury lawyer and you want to tell people at the end, if you've experienced this very specific type of scenario, contact us, we can help, go for it, put it in there at the end. Uh, you don't need to have such a strong one at the end. You could end post with a simple, we'd love to be there to help you if we can. Kind of like what I like to do at Attorney Sync. We like to offer up information, and if someone feels like we're a good fit for them based on that info, awesome. If not, that's okay, we're here to provide info. Um, instead of having just a written post that people would read, you could also do an image or a video like this one. Uh, different people learn in different ways and like to take information in, in different ways, so keep that in mind. Third question to ask yourself is, do the search engines like your pages? This is where things will get a little bit more complicated, and so I have the steps listed out here are the things that you wanna pay attention to. First thing to pay attention to are your snippets and your meta descriptions. So I have an example. We at Attorney Sync use Yoast SEO to help keep our posts on track, and as you might be able to tell from the screenshot here, we also use WordPress for hosting our site. And so Yoast allows you to write your own little description uh, that you can have for search engines to find. The things with that, don't just fill it with keywords. Make sure it makes sense. Make sure it's a sentence that people would actually read, write, or say. Otherwise, Google's also gonna go, yeah, I don't understand what this is. People, people don't speak this way. Not that Google is a person, but their algorithms are very sophisticated. Second thing you want to look at, your title tags and headings. So I am able to not only create the title for all of my posts, but then I can also edit it here for the permalink to make sure that the link doesn't include things like stop words and or of, and it's a little bit cleaner so that um, it's a long tail keyword, but it doesn't have all of those kind of blockages because people, when they search, they tend to not include those words in their search. They're pretty robotic generally for searches. 
Third thing to pay attention to, internal and external links. This is where people really get caught up. You have a blog post that was performing two or three years ago, stopped performing. Why could that be? Maybe the links that are in the post are broken. If you included a random YouTube video, that video could be taken down or the post that you were linking to was taken down. Any of those things, I would recommend going through and clicking the links or using a site auditor like Moz Open Site Explorer, Google Search Council, Council, Ahrefs. Last thing to pay attention to with um, your searchability for your pages is the URLs. Um, just leaving it as it appears, kind of a mistake, you want to change that around. Other oopsies to watch out for, duplicate content. Don't post the same thing multiple times. Mm -mm, nobody likes that. Um, combine the posts, simplify, or make them longer, more expansive. Uh, we know that um, some of the updates that Google's run, they do tend to prefer longer posts. Not always necessarily true. Uh, there are some uh, search engine experts out there that disagree with that a little bit, and I tend to be more in that mindset. Um, and then I am using Soapbox from Wistia to record this, but do not soapbox in your posts. Do not stand on a platform and talk about how great you are or how great that thing you did is. Focus more on what your services or your firm can do for other people, and then you get a little bit more interaction on those posts. Any other questions, uh, feel free to reach out to me, kelly at attorneysync.com. I'm always happy to help.